Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a Logan Coach Bullseye three horse gooseneck. It's a really cool closet tack setup. I um, just want to point out this is a sold unit or a sale pending unit. Someone does have money on this waiting for it to be delivered or picked up. But it just gives us the option to show you guys some cool Logan features. We don't do a lot of closet tacks like this, um, especially kind of with this new setup with the uh, blanket bars right next to the saddle rack. So we, we do these sold units to show you guys what we can do on trailers and also that way to give you guys an idea of some trailers we do have coming in the future. So we'll start off right here um, towards the front of this trailer on this tack room or this front dressing room it would be. Um, by doing a closet tack, the main benefit of doing this closet tack is you do get pretty much an empty front dressing room that you can do a lot of cool stuff in. The way we set it up in this one is it is just an empty front dressing room. You can throw a mattress up there if you want. It is fully carpeted, but we kind of left it plain. We put a step on it. Um, a lot of times people add boot boxes to this trailer. Um, the cool thing about it is, is that in the future, leaving it empty like that, it kind of leaves whoever buys this trailer or whoever buys it from, whoever buys it now down the road. It gives them options to kind of do whatever they want to do inside here. With it being empty, they can finish it out if they want. They can add an AC in here. They can put a couch in here if they want. They can add shelves and hooks and stuff wherever they want to do. Um, I re it's really cool even an empty up here like this because as I show you guys, that closet tech's going to have plenty of storage and stuff for you guys to hang your horse stuff, travel and stuff, any like thing like that you may need. And leaving it empty up here just gives you a nice space to organize your stuff out of the way and then a place to add stuff that you want in the future. But by doing it empty like this, it kind of gives me the opportunity to show you guys structurally how they build these trailers. You'll notice pretty much anywhere is rhino line on this trailer, um, or vortex lining is what Logan calls it. So there, anywhere they have steel poking out of this trailer where it can, you know, has the opportunity to get wet. It is going to be vortex lined again just to add to the life of this trailer and keep that steel from rusting, you know, five, ten years down the road. And then coming out of that front tack room right next to it is that closet tack. So like I said, you have that big empty front tack for storing all your guys' stuff because you're going to have plenty of storage right here in this closet tack. Um, cool thing I like about it is you do have this swing out saddle rack. A lot of times on a closet tack, your door is not big enough to get this saddle rack to clear and come around. Um, but by doing it, we make this door a little bit wider um, and that just gives the saddles the ability to clear this wall right here, fold in, out of the way, and then you can easily swing these back out and saddle your horse when it's tied right there. I think it's super cool. These swing outs are coming, becoming really, really popular because they're really, really simple concepts. But again, they help you so much. They get those saddles out over. You're not having to take a big step up to get in your tack room. And like I said, your horses are going to be tied right here. You're going to have your blanket bars and your saddle rack three foot from your horses. You can pull everything on, put it on, close this saddle rack back up. Behind this saddle rack, we do have carpeted bridle hooks. Um, we like to carpet those bridle hooks just because, again, we're adding to the life of this trailer. So by carpeting that, it keeps your bridles and your conchos from scraping up the, you know, the steel or the aluminum sheeting on this trailer. Um, typically, all your head stalls are going to hang right there, and that carpet's going to wear a lot, lot better than you know this metal on this trailer is. But if for some reason you got some stuff that's hanging really, really low, again, it is vortex lined. The whole bottom of this tack is vortex lined. That way, if you guys have some totes, buckets, or something like that that you have thrown in here, they're not going to scrape that up as well. Uh, you probably noticed that hose hanging there. This trailer is equipped with a 35 gallon water tank over here in the corner. I think it's super important to carry water for your horses. Um, a lot of times you're traveling and it's either hard to get into a place you can get water or a lot of times you're pulling into gas stations and they don't have water for your horses or for your dogs or for you even. So this gives you the ability to bring your water from home and know that you always have a really, really good supply of water for your horses, your dogs, yourself in a situation where you may need it or you may just like hauling water from your house for your horses. Some horses are kind of funny, they will only drink their home water and it takes them a little bit to get used to water at a new place. So this kind of gives them the ability to show up if they're going to perform at a show, rodeo, anything like that. They can show up, have a good drink of water, and you don't have to worry about them being dehydrated during their run. But, like I said, this saddle rack, I'm going to swing it in just so I can show you guys these blanket bars. These blanket bars are going to latch to this door while you're traveling. The reason I like them so much, again, is because you are going to be saddling right there, but I like how easy it makes to load in blankets. Sometimes you'll see on some trailers, the blanket bars will be stationary on the door, positioned kind of like this. 
and you're not going to be able to move them. And the hard thing about that is, is if you start putting your blankets on from the top to bottom or you don't put them on in a certain order, you have a couple people throwing blankets on, um, they can get pretty hard to get in and out because you're trying to slide them by this wall but also by the other blankets. So making it a swing out, it makes it super easy. You can put blankets on here super easy, however, in whatever order you guys want. And then it's really easy to just pinch them off over here. You're going to latch this while you're traveling. And what that does is it secures those blankets. It's going to hold them up against that wall. They're not going to fall off while you're traveling. It's a really, really cool, cool setup we got here. And of course, below those, we do have a big brush tray for your, you know, your brushes, your sprays, your stuff like that. There is a marine grade carpet in the bottom of there. It's the same carpet we use on this whole trailer. Cool thing I like about it is it's easily removable. So if you do get some brushes or, you know, winter time, some of your spray bottles freeze and break and leak in there, you can easily spray this out with a hose and get it nice and clean and then just put your carpet right back in there. Tail side of this trailer is pretty standard stuff from Logan. We do have your LED spotlight up at the top. Again, you're probably going to be saddling right here next to your saddles. Um, that light's going to give you plenty of light to see what you're doing, not only to keep your horse safe, you safe, but it's always a good thing to be able to check your tack really, really thoroughly before a show or rodeo, just to make sure there's nothing wrong with your tack, and this light's going to give you enough light to do so. Below that, we do just have your standard kind of Logan sliding type bus windows. These will slide. Um, we talk a lot about airflow. I know pretty much every video we do, we talk about airflow for your horses, but by having these big bus windows on the hip side, it's really going to help you guys regulate how that air flows through this trailer and keep that temperature just about right however you guys like it for your horses. Below that three horse trailer we do have three tie rings right here for tying horses out. Again, I think they're kind of situated back further than when they would normally be on a Logan trailer. Normally you're going to have them positioned a little bit for, for, further forward I believe. Um, the reason we move them back just a little bit is because of that closet tack. We have that first ring up there with that closet tack open. You're probably not going to be able to tie to it. So we move them back a little bit just to give you guys the option to still tie three horses to the tail side of this trailer. Down low, you notice we did opt for steel wheels on this trailer. Um, customer actually put money on this trailer and changed them to steel wheels. I believe they were coming in aluminum, but she didn't want to have to worry about scraping up the aluminum. She can just repaint these steels. But that is an upgrade if you guys are looking at this trailer thinking, man, it would look cool with some aluminum wheels. We can do that, guys, for you. If you guys have one on order or you're thinking about ordering one, that is something we can do. Coming around the tail side of this trailer, um, or your load side of this trailer, you will notice, again, I talk about that vortex lining all the time. And this gives you just a really good idea of how much of that product they actually put on this trailer. It's going to be all over your back doors of this trailer. All your support beams to the inside framing of this trailer is going to have it. And then pretty much your bottom four and a half, five foot of your horse compartment is going to have this vortex lining. And again, that's just to keep this trailer looking real nice and clean. If you have a horse that likes to paw, kick, anything like that, they're going to be chipping away at that vortex and not the actual metal. And that vortex is a lot, lot easier to fix or replace than it is to replace metal supports on this trailer. So that's kind of why they do it or the magic behind why they do it. And there you go again. So this is a wood floor on a bullseye model trailer. Um, this is what comes standard. If you just say I want a standard bullseye, you're going to get a wood floor that is also vortex line. So again, taking a really, really long lasting floor and just making it that much better by putting that vortex coating on it. You can upgrade the flooring in these bullseye models to their whiz proof aluminum flooring, which is that self draining floor. You can always do, you can always do that draining poly last as well. Up inside this trailer, our uh, rear stall is going to be a telescoping divider. We do this telescoping divider for a couple reasons. Um, you'll notice if I put it over here on the wall, if I want to travel with this open for any reason, if I'm hauling a UTV or something like that, or I just want to give that horse a little more room, there's no way I can shut the back door with it positioned like that. So we make it a telescoping so you guys can slide it in, put it all the way over to that wall, be able to shut your doors, have this out of the way while you're hauling whatever you need to haul. It will latch over here to a pin too, so it's not going to bang around while you are traveling. Super easy system. And then of course you just pull your pin all the way back out if you were hauling horses. Um, it's a really cool little system. It makes it a lot easier. The reason we do it um, is so we don't have to add length to this trailer. We can do a couple things when it comes to shutting this back door. We can either do this telescoping divider or we can make this trailer a foot longer. And it's a lot more cost friendly for you guys to do this telescoping divider than it is to make this trailer longer. Up here in this first stall, again, it's just your standard divider. Um, 
They do come padded standard on these bullseye model trailers, which I think is really nice. Um, it's just a really solid divider. You can do a couple divider upgrades. You can change them out, um, remove the paddings if you wanted, but this is pretty much what you're going to get if you get just a standard bullseye model. Up here at the front, a couple things I want to point out is you do have D-rings positioned on three corners of this trailer. So every single stall is going to have a D-ring set up and your third ring's there in the corner for tying hay bags in this trailer. We don't order them with hay bags. We stock them here at TransWest. You can order trailers with hay bags. Um, it's a lot better than tying up your typical nets because most of the time them sag. You can have horses end up putting a paw through it or a foot through it and then you end up in a bind while you're traveling. The new bags that are going to fit these three tiers, they're really deep. They're going to hang, you know, probably a foot low, and they are really, really strong canvas rubber coated. Um, they're really, really cool products. I wish I could show them to you guys today, but just know that if you are thinking you would want hay bags, each stall is set up for that in this trailer. The roof of this trailer, it is bowed to keep that rot water running off the roof and not rotting at your seals. Um, each stall is going to be positioned with a two-way air vent, and again, we talk about airflow a whole bunch. Um, these air vents are really cool. They either pull the air in or they pull air out. You can position them one way to where when you're traveling down the highway, it's going to cup and capture all that air and bring all that fresh air in here over the tops of your horses. You can open the back one then to pull it out and get that you know, air circulating in here and kind of get it pulling through real nice. Then on top of that, you're going to have those big bus windows on the back side like we talked about, and you're going to get a bunch of air exiting this trailer and a bunch of air coming in, which is going to keep your horses nice and cool in the summer. And then again, it makes it real easy to walk in here, close your vents up, close your bus windows up, and keep them nice and warm in the winter. The thing I want to talk about before I jump out of here is how slick this latch system works in these Logans. So with the telescope, the thing I like about it is you can slam them. So a lot of times you get horses in here, maybe if you're not feeding them, a lot of times if you are feeding them, they'll just load right up, start eating, and you don't have to worry about them. A lot of times if you load up midday, you don't want to feed them while it's hot and you're traveling. They're going to jump up in here and realize there's no food, and they're going to want right back out. So I think it's real cool is you can throw a halter over them, load them, and then all you have to do is slam them the brakes, and then you don't have to worry about them backing out. You're not having to mess with anything and try and get something latched while you get them in here. You just slam the gate, and your horses are ready for travel. Um, it's a really cool, really simple latch feature Logan uses, and again, just makes it more convenient for you and your horses. Up top, we do have you know your license plate lights, your uh, travel lights, and your another LED spotlight. So again, if you are loading in the mornings or nights, when it's dusk, dark, or something like that, you're gonna have enough light to see what your horses are doing to be able to not get in trouble and get hurt yourself or your horses hurt while you're loading back here. Coming around the head side of this trailer, again, if you order a standard Logan trailer, you're probably gonna get this layout right here. You're gonna get these nice Logan drops, which I think are super cool. I talk about them on every single Logan trailer I do. Again, talking about airflow, you're gonna get a bunch of different options with these Logan windows. It operates super smooth, but you can. You do have a sliding type in the middle, so say you just want a little more airflow for your horses, you can slide this sliding type here in the middle. Or, if you want more airflow, you just drop your whole door, and then you get that full airflow through your jail bar dividers. If you want even more than that, you can take these uh, nets, bug guards, whatever you call them, off of there. Um, the purpose of them is to just kind of keep rocks and debris from flying and hitting your horses. Um, but some trailers I've seen not have them. The one I travel with does not have these bug guards, and I've never had a problem with debris hitting them. So if you want even more airflow, you can take these off and get plenty of airflow traveling through your horses. The main reason I love these windows on Logan's is because they kind of really, really engineered them and designed them to fit pretty much everybody. If you're a shorter individual and you have times to reach in the latch that are either located at the top all the time or on the sides, um, if you have a problem reaching those, Logan kind of came up with a solution for you guys. They ran a bar down the whole strip of their windows. Pretty much if you can reach three inches up from the bottom of this window and get a hold of this bar, all you have to do is pull that bar down. And they took it a step further in your middle jail bar on here as well. As long as you can reach that and pull it down, you can drop that jail bar as well and be able to easily check on your horses. And if you have those nice feed bags like I was talking about, you can easily feed your horses from outside here as well, which I think is super important. They operate super smooth. I'll leave one up so you guys can see them. Um, they operate super smooth. They're a really, really cool Logan product. Um, and again, you will have a spotlight on this side of the trailer as well. 
if you are hauling you know a couple horses that fight or something like that you can always tie one or two on the other side one or two on this side and still have light over here to be able to check on your horses and see what you guys are doing safely and effectively moving kind of up here under the nose of this trailer um, again talking about their vortex lining it's real important that I think they did go ahead and they vortex the whole front of this trailer. Again, the reason they do that, you've seen trailers have been hauled for a couple of years. They have rocks, dents, chips, mud all over the front of this trailer. Um, and most of the time it doesn't look very good, but they went ahead and they vortexed it. So if you get any rock chips or anything like that, it's going to be really, really hard to see. But this is going to be a really, really easy to clean product. Nothing really sticks to it that well. So you can power wash this and clean it super, super easy. And on top of that, if you do get a pretty good rock chip, you can just get a wrap, rattle can of Vortex lining, cover it up. It's really easy to fix and repair as compared to if it gets dinged up, chipped up, something like that. You're polishing your aluminum. You're going back to replacing sheets. It just makes it a lot more easy and effective for you guys to do this. This trailer is also equipped with just a standard jack. I want to point out kind of how cool this system they came up with. So you will just have your standard manual single speed jack. The reason I like it though, that same handle that you're going to use to operate the jack on this trailer. Logan went ahead and made their studs match on the tires of this trailer. So if you're ever traveling and you do have a flat blowout or anything like that and you need to change your tire and you forgot your impact or you forgot your lug wrench or anything like that, you can pop the hubs off here and this will fit every single lug on this trailer so you can use it as a lug wrench if you were in a bind, which I think is super awesome that Logan just went ahead and made that happen for you guys. That way if you are in a bind you go, crap, I forgot my lug wrench. How are we going to change this tire? And then you'll remember that you can use this and it's going to help you guys out of a pinch, especially if you're in a place with no service. I know a lot of places that we travel with these horses, there's not great cell service. Can't get a hold of people. It'll save you guys from walking down the highway if you can use this, which I think is super awesome. Logan gave you that ability. So again, this is a sold unit. I know we've been doing a lot of them lately, but it just gives us, again, the option to show you guys trailers that we do have coming in. If this is something you guys think you're interested in or looking for, we do have more like this coming in. But go ahead and reference this stock number. Um, we misprinted the stock tag, so it's gonna say a bumper pull, but just ignore that, it is a gooseneck. Um, stock number for this trailer is 5N201275. Again, it is sold. It is a gooseneck, not a bumper pull. Um, but yeah, we have more coming in just like this. We have some coming in different, and we have the option to fully build them for you guys as well. We just like showing these videos because it shows you guys some cool features that you can add to these trailers as you're building them when you sit down with us. But if you're interested in this trailer or some we have coming in or maybe custom building one yourselves, go ahead and give me a call again. My name's Tanner here at Transwest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Our phone number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in.